There are some basics to debugging systems that are not working properly, and it doesn't matter if we're talking about audio video distribution, software writing, or why a lawnmower may not be working. Let's discuss the basic premise and logic of system debugging to lay the groundwork for future sessions when we talk about debugging AV systems that are not working properly. Let's use two different systems to compare how the logic works. The first example, a lawnmower, has several parts and must work together in order to run. Similarly, an AV system also has several parts that need to work together in order to function. The first step is to think about how the flow of materials, information, or energy gets from one part to another. The lawnmower has fuel that moves from the gas tank through a series of parts to the engine where it must be ignited. An AV system has electrical signals that must move from a source through a series of components to get to the endpoint where it is either heard or seen. Even though these are two completely different systems, we can see the steps for troubleshooting them is really no different. Number one, is the source of materials filled and working properly? Number two, is the path for this material to the next step in the system component working properly? Number three, is the next component in the path working properly? And finally, repeat steps one, two, and three until all components and connections in the path have been verified. Translated. What we're really doing in these steps is starting from the beginning and logically moving along the path until we can identify the problem specifically. Many people like to place an immediate call to tech support when something in the system isn't working, but a properly trained support staff is just going to run you through the steps we just discussed, and going through them yourself will save you both time and money. If you want to get more helpful tips like this, make sure you visit our website at avocationsystems.com or join us on one of our social networking sites.